Hello, everybody. Hobby's out there putting out some deer corn. He's already put some bird food in the feeders out in the yard. So it won't be long, and we're going to have some beautiful deer and some beautiful birds to look at. He's trying to make sure he gets it in the line of the camera. That's so nice of him. So, did y'all see my little video, my little mini video that I did for Candace? And if you did, what do you think about it? I hope it reaches Candace, and I hope that it will inspire her or encourage her enough to feel comfortable enough to come forward. We all, I think we all agree that Candace knows something, and the professionals have said that they believe that Candace knows more than what she's telling. And so I just wanted to um, get a message to her. And that was the, the best way that I know how to reach her. I know I have a small channel, but there's a big chance that my video could reach her. I hope it does, and I hope that it has a positive influence on her. I hope she doesn't get angry about it because it's not going to do any good to get angry. Uh, what she needs right now is help, I agree, but she does not need help, like financial help as much as she needs a support system, a support group around her that will encourage her to get some help, some professional help. And that needs to start immediately and it needs to be continued with drug and alcohol rehab and with aftercare. I believe that Candace has a whole lot of problems that have stemmed from the use of drugs and alcohol for so many years. And I believe it's going to take financial, I mean, not financial, but uh, I believe it's going to take professional help to get Candace in her life straightened out the way it needs to be. And that is going to take a long time. Unless she's really determined to get clean for her kids and for her family. If, if her family is not enough reason for her to want to do this and make a change then nothing else will ever will ever work because like I put in that little mini video, what a beautiful family in that boat was everything she had was in that boat in that video and everything in that boat is gone. All she has left is the boat that they were sitting in. And she needs to think about that. She needs to see what she's lost. And she needs to be told and she needs to understand in case she don't understand. She needs to understand how her life got to this point. And we can all tell by all of the mug shots and criminal records that go way back, way, way back to 
to when Candace had two small children from a previous marriage. She had a drug and alcohol problem even then and a problem with being violent. All the way back to those days. That's a whole lot of years ago. And Candace has been strung out on drugs and alcohol since before she lost her first set of kids. And she's never gotten clean. And it's time. That was my message to her, that it's time. She's 39 years old. She's going on 40 years old. It's time to put the party life to bed. And she needs to get serious. If she wants her family back, if she wants back what was in that boat, then she's going to have to start with herself. And she's going to have to make big changes. And that's going to require her to become drug free. And to get control over her use of alcohol. And then we can talk about the house. What the house needs. But right now, people are throwing money at her because they say they want to help her. I understand that you want to help her, but wouldn't it be wiser to help her change her life for the better? Because throwing money is not helping change her life for the better. She can have all the money in the world right now, and as long as she does not get clean, she's not going to make one bit of difference in her life as far as getting her family back. And she says she wants her boys back and she wants to find Summer. Well, let's see. Let's see if she gets clean because she knows she's got to do that before she'll ever get the kids back. If she's not clean, then there's no chance that she's going to get them back. They're not going to give them kids to a parent who is still using drugs and still has a missing child. If Candace wants her boys back, she's going to have to come up with Summer. And she's going to have to become drug-free and prove that she's drug-free. And then if she can do that, then we'll all probably pitch in and help with the house. I know I would. She needs to start with bringing Summer home. Come clean and tell them where is Summer. That's where she needs to start. And then she needs to work on getting herself cleaned up. She needs rehab long term. And it will be so worth it in the end if she had a support system that would encourage her to go into a rehab facility long term and get the proper help and the proper support that she needs. That's the best thing that anybody could do to help Candace right now. Encourage her to come forward and come clean about what she knows about what happened to Summer. And maybe we can all help her find Summer if she comes clean and tells what she knows. Maybe we, all of us internet sleuthers can work together if we knew where to start. Maybe we wouldn't look so hard at the parents if Candace would come clean and tell us what she knows that she's leaving out. Even the professionals have said 
that Candace is withholding information. She has guilty knowledge about what happened to Summer or where Summer is, who's responsible for Summer getting gone. This is not going to go away. This is not going away. Some YouTube creators might fall off the summer train. Sometimes it seems like the summer train is losing steam. But that's okay, because I'll drive it. If I have to, I'll drive the summer train. Or I'll ride in the caboose. It don't matter to me. I'm, I'm going to be on that summer train until summer is found. I'm not giving up. I'm not putting Summer to the side. If there's any chance that Summer is alive somewhere, Candace, shame on you for not coming forward and telling what you know because she could have already been found if you would just tell what you know. By Candace being so secretive and withholding information, it makes her look guilty. Even if she's not guilty concerning Summer being missing, then she's still guilty of a lot of other stuff. She's lucky that she's not behind bars already for distributing alcohol and THC and nicotine to a minor, allegedly, allegedly indecent liberties with a minor, alleged child abuse and child neglect, child endangerment in the home. Having a missing child that the parents have not been cleared of as of yet, eight months in to this investigation and the parents cannot be cleared as of yet, that makes them look very suspicious. That's why a lot of people are looking so hard at Candace. Candace was the last person who was responsible for Summer. The last person who was with Summer when Summer got gone. We need to know what Candace knows. We need to know what Candace is withholding. If she really wants her family back and she really wants Summer back, then she needs to start telling the parts of the story that she's been leaving out this whole time. Like beginning with the real day that Summer disappeared. Candace is sitting there collecting all that money, partying, living it up. No responsibilities, no kids, no husband. All the money that she can, all kinds of money that she can buy any kind of drugs she wants, all the alcohol she wants. She's never going to come forward and tell what she knows as long as everybody's making her life su such luxury. Whatever happened to tough love? Is anybody ever going to let Candace be held responsible for anything in her life? I'm looking hard at Candace, and I have a whole lot of reasons to be looking hard at Candace. 
and it just sickens me to know that she's sitting there living high on the hog. She's got a woman that's paying her car payments for the next, for the another, a whole year. That ain't counting all the other money she's got coming in. Being donated on Cash App. And money grams. I don't understand it. If people really want to help Candace, that's not the way to help her. Helping her sit there and gorge herself with as many drugs as she can possibly do in a day, that's not going to help her. What is going to help her is a support system to encourage her to go to rehab and get help. Get in clean and finding out. Where is Summer? So that she can put this behind her. And then life will move forward. But it's not going to move forward until she makes a step to make a change. And people who are just throwing money to her are just enabling her. I want to find Summer. I just want to find Summer. I would like to see Candace and Don both get clean, both get the help that they need, both to make all of the changes that are necessary to get their boys back, to tell where Summer is if they know. And they can make it all happen. They can make it all happen. It might take some time. But that's all they have right now is time. They've lost everything else. It's time to tell what happened to Summer and where is Summer. We'll see. We'll see if she really wants her boys back. We'll see if she's really setting Summer to the side. Time will tell. And I will be watching. I want to see Candace making changes with Candace. I want to see her working on herself. Because if she can't show us that she's working on herself, then she can't show us that she's really serious about getting her life straightened out. Anyway, that was what my little video was about. That's my way of helping Candace. That's the kind of help that I believe that Candace needs. She needs reality put in front of her. She needs to be, she needs to sit and look at reality. Every chance I get, I'm going to put reality out there to her so she can look at it. That might be the only time she looks at reality when she sees it in a YouTube video. I'm sure she's pretty numb with all the drugs that everybody's buying for her.
guess she don't feel a thing. She needs to feel some remorse. She needs to feel some guilt, some empathy, some sympathy, some grief, a sense of loss. She's never going to feel anything as long as she's got drugs being pumped into her system day and night to keep her numb, to keep her from feeling anything. Those are all feelings and emotions that she should be feeling right now. And if we're ever going to get what she knows out of her, she needs to get clean. I think if she gets clean, she'll be forced to feel emotions. And she might actually gain, regain a conscience again. She certainly needs a conscience right now. She needs a support system to encourage her to get the help that she needs. She knows that, that that's where she has to start. But people need to reinforce that to her. She has a beautiful family. And nobody can put her family back together for her. No amount of money is going to put her family back together until she herself puts herself back together. She's been broken for many, many, many years. She has been a broken soul. It's time for closure. It's time for healing. It's time to put Summer Wells' case to bed. And what that's going to take is for Candace to come clean and tell everybody what it is that she knows that she's not telling. What is it? What is it, Candace, that you're keeping a secret? And why are you keeping it a secret? Don't you want all of this to go away? I do. I want Summer to be found. Hopefully she is alive and well. If I could just know for a fact that she's alive and well, I would just back off right there. If I had proof that she was alive and well, I would back off. But I have a feeling that somebody did something bad to Summer, and I want to see justice for that person, whoever it is. I want to know, where is Summer? And is she alive or not? Candace can tell us that. But will she? That's the question is, will she tell us? Will she tell us who is really responsible? for making Summer get gone? If it's not her, then will she clear herself by telling who really did it? She can begin to heal if she would just tell the truth. The lies fell apart a long time ago, starting with the timeline. You know they have a ton of digital evidence. So she might as well come clean on her own 
and the courts would have more mercy on her if she would come through on her own instead of waiting there for them to show up with the handcuffs. I would rather go ahead and tell on myself. I wouldn't be able to sit there and live with myself, putting up with all the backlash from the public. If I was innocent, there's no way I would put up with that. That's why she looks so guilty. We know she's withholding information. What is it going to take to get that information? What's it going to take to get her to talk? I think getting her sober so she can get in touch with her feelings and her emotions. She needs to feel it. She needs to feel it. She needs to feel that real big sense of loss from Summer and the boys. And now Dawn, does she feel it? Does she feel the loss, any of it? Or is she just too drunk and too high, too numb to feel anything? It looks to me like we people on YouTube we're the ones who are really suffering, worrying ourselves sick over this little girl. Wondering if she'll ever be found and wondering if that family will ever be put back together again. Will they do the right thing? Will they get clean? Will they stay clean? This is their only chance of putting their family back together. And the world is watching. What will they do? How will this story unfold from here on? That depends on Don and Candace. I hope they make the right decisions for the sake of the kids. I hope they come clean and I hope they tell the truth about where Summer is and why is she there. I don't want to continue thinking that something bad has happened to her. If they have put her somewhere to hide her, it's not fair to the whole world who is still searching and hurting for that child. We need to know that Summer's alive. If you want everybody to back off, show everybody that she's alive and well. Post a video. Post a video of Summer being alive and well. We have to wait and see. We just have to wait and see, y'all. I hope you've enjoyed watching the deer and the birds, and a few squirrels. It's always nice when they show up during the videos. So, I'm gonna keep this one a little bit short. And I wanna just say thank you to everybody for watching my video. And I hope you're checking out some of my other videos. And I'm very grateful to have each and every one of you here as part of my YouTube family. Thank you for watching.